Today I am wearing my signature red tomato shades. You know why? I am taste testing Cheetos new line of mac and cheese. We have flaming hot. We have bold and cheesy and we have cheesy jalapeno. I'm gonna cook them all up today. Try them all. Tell you my honest opinions on them and I'm super pumped about it because I've been wanting to try these for months. So I am ready. Uh, so, ow. I hit myself. So, ow. I meant to do, oh, ow, oh, I'm so hot. But first we have a mini bonus taste test, guys. This video is sponsored by the amazing Tokyo Treat. I almost dropped the box, I'm sorry. In case you haven't heard of Tokyo Treat, basically it's a monthly subscription box full of Japanese snacks and candy, and it's delivered straight to your door from Japan. There's a different theme every month, so it always stays super fun. New snacks, new surprises, we love this for us. Let's open it up and see what kind of snacks we got. Oh, so this is the theme, New Year, New Snacks. This is their January box. So if you won this January box, you need to subscribe to Tokyo Treat before December ends. Japan standard time, okay? That's just how it works. If you order a box in January, you will get the box the following month. Do you get me? This basically tells you all the different snacks. It describes all of them so that you know exactly what's going on. These boxes are always packed full. We have so many snacks. Oh my goodness, look at all these guys. I always love all the Japanese Kit Kats. This is a hot spring dumpling flavor. How interesting. We have a candy, we have pokies. Oh, we have one of these fishies. These fish are so good always. A Fanta drink, a fancy one. Look how fancy that looks. And there's still so many snacks. <laughs> they do have prepaid plans, which are cheaper than like month to month plans. And it's just a lot more convenient as well. I am gonna try the Kit Kats first. Look how cute. There's so many in there. Oh my goodness. So hot spring dumpling. I've never had a hot spring dumpling, so we'll see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so good. So it has red bean paste in it. I do taste that. That is delicious. It has a sweet, salty thing going on. There are flavors I've never had before that I'm loving. We have to try this fish thing. It's a New Year's Lucky Bubbly Taiyaki. Now, I've had a couple other flavors of this fish, and all of them have slayed me. By the way, this is not like made of fish. It just looks like a fish, but it's, it's like a sweet dessert. So let's try it. Mmm, mmm, it's chocolate. Oh man, it's a tasty chocolate filled wafer. And guys, like the chocolate is like a bubbly, foamy type consistency, very airy. Mmm, I can't stop eating it. <laughs> oh my god, guys, we have mochi. I need mochi. Pudding mochi. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. I love mochi. I love pudding. Look how cute. <gasps> so soft. Oh my god, they're so soft. Oh my god. They're filled. Oh. That's the best mochi I've ever had. Now, I, I have not had that much mochi, but out of all the mochis I've had in my life, this is the best. Oh my god. Y'all need to get yourself a box of Tokyo Treat. There's so many snacks here. The link is at the top of the description, guys. Go subscribe and get yourself a box. Let's try something salty. Let's try these. These chip looking things. What are they? They are Kokaya Pride Potato Seaweed Salt Chips. Okay. Oh, they smell so good. Mmm. Mmm. So crispy. So crunchy. Such a good salty potato chip. The seaweed flavor does come through. Delicious. Let me try this drink. This is Fanta Premier Peach. I love peach. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a peach ring. Tastes like a peach ring. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like a liquefied peach ring. I love peach rings. <gasps> I want to try these Takata crackers. So cute. Mmm. They're like so crispy. It's like little fish, fish um, shapes and little heart shapes. So I mean kind of like Chex Mix, but better. Mmm. Wow. So good. There are still so many snacks to try, but I'm gonna save them for later. Get yourself a box of Tokyo Treat. Honestly, 
It's so good. And y'all, they have a deal going on? If you sign up for a prepaid plan using the code PARTY20, you can get a special Kit Kat or Pokey bonus snack. We love bonus candy for us. If you get the 12-month prepaid plan, you will get a Kit Kat variety party box containing 18 varieties of Kit Kats and y'all that 60 pieces of Kit Kats. Oh my goodness, that's a big bonus box. <laughs> and there's some other bonuses if you get like the six month prepaid plan or the three months. Also guys, Tokyo Treat has a monthly giveaway where they give away 10 free boxes to 10 lucky Tokyo Treat winners every single month and everyone can join. Go to the link in the description and you might get a free Tokyo Treat box. How amazing is that? Thank you so much to Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. I love working with you guys so much and I love your snacks. I love everything about Tokyo Treat. So thank you guys so much. Well, those snacks were delicious, but I always have room for more food. So like I said before, yes, I'm gonna cook these and taste test all of them. I cannot wait. So I'm kind of shook that Cheetos now has mac and cheese. Like that is very interesting to me. Okay, so just the bold and cheesy flavor, which is just like, I guess, plain Cheetos flavor. It is 340 calories per serving um, and it has 2.5 servings in it. 14 grams of fat, 740 milligrams of sodium, 47 grams of carbs, um, six grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein. It says, Creamy, cheesy, and also easy to love. Made with authentic cheesiness. Love authenticness. Okay, so I'm gonna need milk, water, and butter. Just like your typical like Kraft mac and cheese. It's like the same, the same recipe, I guess. You can microwave this? Ew, <laughs> microwave directions. Okay, so guys, I have a little story. So, um, I ordered these months ago. Months, months and months, probably three or four months ago. And they've been sitting in my pantry since then. I've been wanting to make this video so bad, but other video ideas have popped up and it's just, I swear, every time that I plan to make this video, something else popped up. So I'm finally gonna make it, excited. And don't worry, they're not expired. I don't think, wait, where's the expiration date? Mm -hmm. Okay, January 2021, we're good. <laughs> they expire like next month. So I'm so glad that I'm here right now making this with you, having a moment. A spicy, flaming hot moment. The cheesy jalapeno flavor is 10 calories less than the normal one, don't know why. And it says creamy, cheesy, and so easy to love. Wait, same thing. Oh yeah, same thing, but this one's different. Okay. The Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese is 10 less calories than the jalapeno one, so it's 20 less calories than this one. Wow, this is this is the skinny legend of the group. <laughs> this one says spicy, cheesy, and oh so easy to love. Love that tagline. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook these. Um, I'm gonna cook all the noodles in one pot so that I don't have to make a lot of dishes, and then I'll just like separate them into bowls. Am I the only person that doesn't mind cleaning like bowls, but I really mind cleaning pots and pans? Oh, I despise cleaning pots and pans so much. And am I the only person that puts their dirty pots and pans into the dishwasher? Is that normal? Is that wrong? I don't know. Listen, I don't do anything wild. The only wild thing I do is probably do my dishes the wrong way. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up with water and a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna get it boiling. Fashion, art pop, leave the gong gong. Okay, the water is steaming. I'm gonna add all three noodles. There's the cheesy one. The jalapeno and the flaming hot. Okay, perfect. Just gonna stir it up a bit. Okay, I will see you guys when these noodles are cooked. Okay, they're done. Now there's a lot of noodles and I have a very small strainer. So whenever I make like a lot of pasta, I literally just use like one of these little spoons. <laughs> Look how funny that looks, it looks like hair. <laughs> one of these um, like slotted spoons, but it also has these like little things on it and all the water just kind of drips out. And that's it, so I'm just gonna like divide the noodles equally into these three beautiful big voluptuous bowls. This might take a while, I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh, the steam. I feel like I'm in a music video. <laughs> While we're here, how are you? Do you have any Christmas plans? Hopefully not around other people that aren't in your household. Me and my bae plan to wake up on Christmas morning and watch a Wonder Woman. It is coming to streaming and I'm literally so excited. Oh my God. 
And then um, we're gonna also watch Soul because that's coming to streaming too. We're gonna have just like a big movie day, probably order some food, it's gonna be great. Thanksgiving was wonderful, we just did the same thing. Me and my bae stayed home and watched movies. Uh, we watched Kristen Stewart's um, Christmas movie, The Happiest Season, so good. And a couple other movies and we just ordered food, it was wonderful. So yeah, if you're alone this um, holiday season, just know that next year, hopefully you can be with all your family and all your friends. Okay, our noodles are in the bowl. I'm gonna change the angle so that y'all can see me mixing everything. I have my milk, I have my butter. Now it says to put two tablespoons of butter or margarine. I have not had margarine since I was a kid. What even is margarine? Who is she? <laughs> margarine, I've never heard of her. Okay, I think that's good for that one. There we go. Okay, perfect, the butter is in. So now we just kind of mix them all up until the butter melts and coat everything. A lot of people like to add their uh, mac and cheese powder at this point, like when the butter's in there, and I'm like, that is what creates the blobs. Something that I hate more than anything is a mac and cheese blob. Like, <laughs> it really disgusts me. Chewing on a hard piece of powder that tastes really salty, it's nasty. So I always mix until my mac and cheese has zero blobs. We don't know blobs. This, this butter's melting real slow. Is this hot enough? Okay, I'm gonna pop these into the microwave for like 30 seconds just, just to get the butter melting because right now nothing is really happening. <laughs> okay, the butter is officially all melted. I'm now going to make the mac and cheeses. So, let's first make the cheese one. I'm just gonna pour some milk and then I'm gonna add the pocket of cheese. Ooh, that is bright! Whoa, that smells like Cheetos. I'm not joking. Whoa, that is... Oh! Those are stones. Oh, those are really hard. Oh, like I'm dealing with a fossil here. Okay, yeah, I think it's gonna be blobby because the powder's like really hard, but it smells really incredible. It smells just like Cheetos. I can't. Just trying to break those blobs up. <laughs> this is, oh my goodness, okay. It's very crummy. There is a lot of these fossilized moments in here. Let me add a little more milk. I was just going on about how much I hate blobs and now I have these like rocks in my mac and cheese. The other powders feel a lot less stuck together, like they feel really powdery. Oh! So hopefully the other two won't have this issue. I don't think they will. And this is probably my fault, honestly, for waiting a few months. I mean, thankfully it is not expired, but you know, it probably just kind of hardened during this time. Well, I think that some of these um, blobs are kind of hopeless, so I'm just gonna have to eat around them. I'm just going to transfer this into one of my bowls, my plate bowls. Okay, mac and cheese number one is done. Let's do the jalapeno mac and cheese now. So I'm just gonna add some milk, that's good. Now the jalapeno powder. Yes, this is pure powder, no rocks, no blobs. Oh, that really smells like jalapeno Cheetos. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Okay, let's just get this all mixed up. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my Lord, that, oh, my mouth is watering. My mouth is watering. I don't see any blobs, guys. This is blobless. I'm so happy. <laughs> I think I added just a tiny bit too much milk, but I don't mind. I love my um, instant mac and cheese a bit more saucy, you know? Okay, this one is it. This one is it. Let's put this into my bowl. Okay. Looks gorgeous. Last but not least, the Flaming Hot. I am so excited for this one. Oh my goodness, add some milk. Not too much. Flaming Hot time. Ooh, ooh, that looks almost pink. It's so bright, wow. Can you smell it? <coughs> oh, <I'm right> now. <coughs> oh no, Wait. guys, I don't know what do I do? Oh my goodness, Oh, It's not burning, it's just, I already have sinus issues. I hope that, that doesn't hurt me. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's mix it. Okay, wow. Okay, very interesting. Oh, things are turning red. You think my nose is okay? Now I'm paranoid. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope that doesn't hurt my sinuses. Lord. Okay, I expected more of a vibrant color. This is almost kind of see-through. It smells okay. I don't know about this. Yeah, it's kind of see-through with the color. I don't know. I'm gonna show y'all a close-up shot right now after I put it into the bowl.
Okay, so if there's a noise outside, I think that that is someone vacuuming the hallway. So I don't want to hear complaints about that. They're just doing their job. Thank you. I'm sorry if it annoys you. <laughs> Let's first try the normal cheese one. I think it's called Bold and Cheesy. This is the one with the blobs. So I'm going to avoid the blobs so it doesn't affect my opinion on the mac and cheese. Now, once again, it's my opinion. So don't get upset if I don't like it. Thank you. There's a blob here. It's a bit simple. I think maybe because a lot of the seasoning got stuck. Sorry guys, in blob form. Um, maybe it kind of like diluted the flavor, you know? It's really simple. No, it doesn't taste like Kraft, it doesn't. It's not sweet, like how Kraft is sweet. It has a Cheeto flavor, it does. It's just very, very, very light. Almost to the point that you won't notice it. So, regime, stop it, don't be rude. This is really, Really light mac and cheese. Okay, I just got a blob. I thought it would gross me out, but it actually tasted really good and it made the flavor really come through. <laughs> so, mm, I got another blob. They're good. The blobs are good. I give this one 7 out of 10. Pretty good. But now let's try the jalapeno one. Oh, I'm ready for this one, guys. I don't see any blobs. Let's try it. Oh my god! I don't know if um, you can see there's tiny little green specks in it. <gasps> mm. Oh wow. So much flavor. What? Mmm. Guys. Cheesy jalapeno. This is the most flavorful box mac and cheese I've ever had. It's a bit spicy, but not too spicy. It's like nice spicy. I hate when food is so spicy that it ruins the experience and the flavors. It's just like too much. This is fun spicy, you know? Mmm. It's a very strong flavor. If you love the jalapeno Cheetos, you'll love this. It tastes just like it. Like, this is on point. I'm really, really, really impressed. Absolutely delicious. It's 10 out of 10. Okay. Woo. I'm gonna take a break from this clean. So now let's try the flaming hot Cheeto mac and cheese. Where's the box? I don't know where it is. Anyways, you guys know flaming hot Cheetos are just one of my favorite snacks in the world. I love Doritos. I think that they're my top, but flaming hot Cheetos is like right under there. And like a lot of people say that they're too spicy. I don't think so. I can eat a whole bag. So let's see if I like this flaming hot Cheeto mac and cheese. I hope that it tastes like Cheetos. I really do. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to figure it out, okay? Be patient. It's good. Ooh, it's spicy. It doesn't really taste like flaming hot Cheetos. I don't know. It tastes like a really spicy boxed mac and cheese, but I'm not getting that flaming hot Cheetos tang. So it's just missing. It's good. I'm enjoying it. But it doesn't take me all the way to Flaming Hot Cheeto Land, okay? I mean, I think it's fun to try if you like spicy pasta, but just don't expect full Flaming Hot Cheetos. It does have a hint of it. It does. It's just not all the way there. I have to give this 8 out of 10. Anyways, back to this queen. The cheesy jalapeno is a 10 out of 10. My favorite. It's really, really delicious. I'm getting really full. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've tried these and which one's your favorite. Okay, so also thank you so much to Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. Guys, go check out Tokyo Treat, okay? Go get yourself a delicious box. The link is at the top of the description. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh.